just checking in for day eight of the GAPS diet, intro diet, still plugging along on stage one. I have been feeling a little bit more today like I might be ready to move on to stage two, um, but I might give it another day or so. Um, I'm not having any bloating or tummy pain, but just like not regular bowel movements yet, and I'm not sure if that means that I should stay on stage one <clears throat> or if I should continue and move on as long as I don't get any like discomfort. Um, yeah, so I've been online trying to do some research, uh, the gaps.me I think website and, um, <coughs> excuse me, and a couple kind of recipe based, blog based websites and they all seem to have like slightly contradictory advice so I'm not really any less confused. I'm actually feeling like a teeny bit overwhelmed today. Um, and also, I had decided to cut out all supplements um, for the first few days, and now I'm kind of doing the research to add some back in, and so I'm a teeny bit overwhelmed by that as well. I'm for sure going to do a cod liver oil and a really good probiotic, but it sounds like maybe I need some evening primrose and like flaxseed oil. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm going to continue doing more research on that and I will get back to you guys and let you know what I've decided. I'll probably reach out to um, the Facebook group that I joined to find out what other people are doing. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the soup that I'm eating tonight. So I actually used my lamb stock and I wanted to make a soup that um, would kind of mask the flavor of the lamb because at, at that time I had, when I was planning it, I was feeling like it was quite strong um, and now I actually love this soup. So what I did is I used half a butternut squash and about four carrots for quite a large um, pot of soup and um, the lamb broth and an onion um, and then I blended that up and then added lamb meat and kale and a bit of garlic at the end. Um, and so tonight to eat it I've added, I've gotten pretty far along in my probiotic stuff, um, so I've added two tablespoons of sauerkraut juice, two tablespoons of the kefir vegetable juice which is ready now, um, and a tablespoon of cultured cream. So yeah, oh and um, the fresh, hold on I have to look at it. Virgin organic coconut oil, cold pressed and unrefined. Um, about like a teaspoon of that in there as well. So yeah, I haven't been feeling like super, super hungry. So I've only had um, uh, one more bowl of soup today and a bowl of like broth with just some plain pieces of chicken in it this morning that I actually wished I had just had broth because it wasn't that it wasn't sitting right. I just was I'm just as happy with just broth and feel like it goes down easier for me in the morning. I'm not much of a breakfast person. Um, and the broth kind of is like instead of coffee for me. Um, yeah, and then I also had um, ginger and turmeric tea with a little bit of coconut oil and honey in it as well. So that has been good and I haven't felt like hungry beyond that. I went for another walk today, a little bit longer today. Um, but I also was feeling quite tired this afternoon it's really hard to say if that is to do with me still kind of readjusting after night shifts, like I often have another tired day, or um, just a dip in something going on in my body. Um, but I do feel like the aches and pains, like I've woken up the past couple days, or even like three days, I think, without feeling like sore in my joints. And considering that I've been working, that's great. So I feel like I'm seeing some improvements. Um, yeah, so I'll show you my soup and I'm probably going to keep it short tonight. I don't really have a lot to say. It's been a lot of washing dishes <laughs> and just getting organized in other ways. Um, it's kind of a cozy day around here. It was super rainy. We had a big local garage sale that uh, the whole community take par takes part. So I went to that, which was a busy morning. Um, yeah, so uh, not a lot to say and I'll just show you this soup and be on my way. So here is my soup, and this red stuff here is actually just from the kefir vegetables, um, and then you can see the cultured cream, and you can probably see some of the oil on the top there, and that's both from the lamb stock and from the coconut oil that I added. 
So for lunch today, I had a similar thing, but I didn't have the cultured cream just because I'm, I am still kind of being a little bit, um, I don't want to be like eating too, too much dairy. It's, I, I don't feel like I'm reacting badly, but just, as I said, I tend to be a bit more on the constipated side. So I want to keep more sauerkraut, more, um, fermented vegetables versus fermented, uh, dairy. And so I've just been kind of adding it to like one, um, bowl of soup and it's been great um oh and the other thing is i'm at this garage sale again forgive my super dirty table messy i should say um but i got a yogurt maker so i've got my yogurt finally on the go there um and i'm hopeful that i'll tomorrow be able to try some of that and hopefully it works out yeah so that's all for tonight guys bye